speeding. Yeah. I'm still speeding. I'm speeding, right? Are you ready? Ready or not? Here I go. Take three. Mark. Let's go. We met what two, three years ago, I think. Yeah. Here when you were when you were renovating this place, and obviously Buster and Punch were helping you fit out. I think like when I first met you, the thing that struck me was your love for architecture, interiors, and design. Yeah. You know I love and. It. What does architecture mean in your life, you know? I think it's everything. Your space that you live or work in is everything. And yeah. for me, it's like simplicity and yeah. just minimal. Um, this space especially. My house is like that too. I don't need a lot, but what's there counts. What does like the skull mean to you? Because I always see you wearing skulls and... It's always been something. Like from, I think from the first time I saw Artists like Pusshead and his skulls that he would put on Misfits albums or yeah. Metallica albums, that was really big, or like Zero Skateboards back in the day. So I've always loved it. It screams rock and roll, yeah. it screams metal music, punk music. I remember actually making like skull knobs out of something just so I could have them at my house and they were super like Mickey Mouse, it wasn't done yeah. right. So the fact we're making ones that really work, is so basically in the whole range is made out of solid metal. It's either hand sand casted or investment cast. And the best thing about that is like no two products are the same. So they're you all know, 101. They're all 101. We've got obviously the drum key, which I've got to be honest, I had to Google what a drum key was. Yeah, so. it is super niche. And they don't really make, there's not a bunch of custom ones. You usually get a drum key with your bass drum pedal or you could just have it and have it, you know, attached to your kit somewhere. But having this that's, like I said, something you can wear around your neck yeah. and it can be a drum key is like next next level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think you would catch me just wearing a drum key on my neck. <laughs> you know, so yeah, this yeah, is yeah. like so cool. Be or even like these. a door, like you never think of a cool door stop until there's a cool door stop. If we take a quick look at the range, you know, we started off with the, the drum key, which is kind of the hero product. And then we moved to more fashion-y products. So we got things like jewelry and necklaces candle holders, door stops, cabinet knobs. God knows, I don't know how you use this bowl, but basically it's an occasional bowl for everything. You can put chips in it, dips in it. You can use a cigar and use it as an ashtray. And then brings us to our largest product, which is the table light, which again uses this solid metal skull with the Travis Barker and Buster and Punch stamps on it. And this skull is also a pull to turn the light on and off. So that completes the journey. When I tell people, oh, we're doing a project with, with Travis Barker, like you mean something different to different people. How come you've traveled this very windy path? I think I was just myself. And I was into a lot of different things while I was a drummer in a band or while I was producing, whatever. So people would come to me and be like, oh, you, I love your work with the Suicide Boys. Or I loved, I saw you play with YG at House of Blues before it got shut down. Or whatever, I love Blink-182. Or I love your work with MGK. And I like being all those things. Yeah, and yeah. I think maybe it's because I've, I've been into like lifestyle. I've been into like tattoos, cars. I don't know, maybe my personality is so loud, love me or hate me, but it's loud. If you naturally, kind of stir shit up, then you do. Now you can add designer to your bow. You know, this collaboration started with your design input actually, and we just sort of like together made it into what it is. Is there anything that you haven't done that you're kind of like excited to do in the future? I just take it as it comes. There's times where I want to like write another book. There's times when I just, I can never predict it. It's kind of like going to the studio. We don't, we have no idea we're gonna leave at the end of the day with this song we created that didn't exist beforehand. So you just, I just take every day as it comes and, and I feel like I'm a creative and I feel like being productive and being creative makes me happy. So there's no limit to it. Just whatever happens, happens. I love it, man. Thanks, Travis. Really yeah, appreciate of course. it, brother. Yeah. Let's hope people like skulls, eh? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs>
Ouais, ça va. Ça va. Ça va.